5 pounds. There's 20 pounds of pressure. Now these, because it's a compound, it would run smoother on steam. Than yeah. This. But this is pretty smooth. You got to admit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's in, it's in, just turns over, ticks over beautifully. What size of boiler would you need for this? Um. Well, I, I think a, I guess a four horse or five horse power boiler. Yeah. Yeah. And. The other way to make it run a little smoother and slower on air is to put a vacuum on the exhaust. Right. Which will do the similar effect of compounding. Yeah. Yeah. My Elliott, I had an Elliott Bay Triple, which was much bigger than this. It weighed 400 pounds. So from the full size. Yeah, yeah. It was this big. Yeah. And that one I used to put a shot back on the exhaust when we yeah. ran the home on air. Right. And then I take it to live steam meets and plug it into a club head or tank, a live steam tank. Is that what they actually actually the engine they use in the Elliott Bay launch? What's that? That's the actual engine they use in the Elliott Bay launch. Isn't yeah. It? Actually, this is this is enough engine to power an Elliott Bay launch. Is it really? Elliott Bay launch is 23 feet long. That big six-cylinder thing is mm -hmm. a little overkill for that launch. Mm -hmm. have it. Up in New Hampshire, there's the man who runs that steamboat meet, Dave Thompson, has an Elliott Bay triple and a 35-foot steam launch. Really? Yeah. You don't have it anymore, that one?